Number 10. The Feet in the Sneakers in the Canadian province of British Columbia, over a dozen feet inside shoes have washed up on local beaches. What does that mean? It means shoes washed up on the beach with feet still inside them, cut off at the ankles. According to a report from CBC News, investigators are still trying to piece together the gruesome mystery. It all started in 2007 when a right foot washed up on a beach near Vancouver Island. Over the next 11 years, a steady progression of feet continued to wash up. Oddly, the feet were always by themselves, not as a pair, and always inside a sneaker. The best theory that investigators have come up with is that the feet got separated from the rest of the corpse and then floated all the way up to Canadian shores because the shoes made them buoyant. But to make this even more mysterious, all the shoes are from different mysteries. Forensic experts have used DNA to track several of the feet to missing persons cases, while others remain unsolved. Some of the feet could belong to murder victims, some could belong to seamen who fell overboard, and some may even be from graveyards built too close to the ocean. Number 9. 200 Human Skeletons Researchers in the United Kingdom have uncovered a bizarre collection of over 200 human skeletons hidden underneath the sand of an otherwise pristine beach. The human skeletons appear to be ancient, belonging to women, children, and men. According to the researchers that made this grisly beach discovery, the site had likely been occupied by a Christian church back in the 6th century. The graves had been dug too close to the beach in Pembrokeshire, and after about 1400 years of weather, the graves ended up under the sand instead of under the soil, which is about 20 feet up the beach. According to Jenna Smith from the Darfed Archaeological Trust, the corpses were in incredibly good condition because they had been stuck under the sand for so long. Archaeologists didn't find any artifacts or personal belongings, as whatever these people were buried with has long since decayed. There's also no evidence left of the church that once stood at the edge of the water. All that remains of the mysterious people that once called this stretch of coastline home are, well, the skeletal remains of the people themselves. Number 8. Yellow-Bellied Sea Snake In Australia, a devastating storm brought in more than just strong winds and heavy rain. It also swept onto the beach an incredibly deadly snake that just about killed a local resident out for a morning walk. She couldn't believe her bad luck when she nearly tripped over a yellow-bellied sea snake, one of the most ferocious sea snakes in the world. This creature normally inhabits deep waters in the Indian Ocean, but was likely stirred up because of the storm. It got flung onto the beach, where it desperately tried to wriggle back into the water and failed. The reason the yellow-bellied sea snake is so dangerous is that it has highly toxic venom. The snake preys primarily on fish, so its venom must be strong enough to paralyze the fish immediately upon injection. When the snake bites a human, it has the exact same effect. The person will often become paralyzed, and then soon after, well, they simply stop being alive. The local who found this particular venomous monster was wise enough not to touch it. Instead, she called Jacqueline Lloyd, a local reptile remover, then stood guard to make sure nobody accidentally came into contact with the deadly serpent. It was ultimately removed and then disposed of. Number 7. An Ancient Artifact On a beach in Connecticut, Evan Honeyman, yes, his real name is Honeyman, was more than a little surprised when he discovered an incredible artifact over a thousand years old. It was a complete fluke that he found the object. A simple piece of chiseled stone once used by the ancient indigenous people of North America, Evan had been visiting his parents' beach house in Westbrook when he decided to take a leisurely stroll along the water. And that was when he spotted the stone sticking out of the sand, likely composed of basalt or rhyolite. The object itself was likely used as the tip of a spear or the tip of an arrow. Sometime between 1,000 and 3,000 years ago, it was a simple hunting implement, a sharp stone with many purposes, and believe it or not, there are hundreds or even thousands of them hidden all across the beaches of Connecticut. The thing is that thousands of years ago, the shoreline was much farther out. Indigenous peoples lived along the shore in places that are currently underwater. They left lots of their artifacts behind, and every now and then, one of them washes up onto the beach. He must have felt pretty lucky to have been the one to find such a cool and rare artifact. Number 6. A Giant Hamster Wheel Officers with the Flagler County Sheriff's Office responded to a very strange emergency phone call back in July. An enormous hamster wheel had turned up on the beach. Oddly enough, the hamster wheel contained a man 
trapped inside and desperately waiting to be saved. If you're thinking, what the heck, you're not alone. We are too. His name is Riza Bellucci, and this wasn't the first time he was discovered on the beach stuck inside a giant hamster wheel. You see, he was trying to get all the way from Florida to New York by using his bizarre floating watercraft. He had designed what looks like a hamster wheel, a floating contraption that he can navigate by running as hard as he can, causing the wheel to spin. As the wheel spins, he's propelled forward across the surface of the water. Back in 2014, Reza had to be rescued by the Coast Guard after he was discovered fatigued and disoriented while trying to literally run from Florida to Bermuda. Then in 2016, the Coast Guard had to rescue him again during his second attempt. This was the third time he had to be rescued from his giant hamster wheel, a device that he calls the Hydropod Bubble. What would your reaction be if you were the one that discovered this? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 5. Civil War Cannonballs On a beach in South Carolina, relics from the past washed up on shore following a violent hurricane. A guy named Aaron, along with his girlfriend Alba, went to the beach immediately after the hurricane, hoping they would find some cool seashells or other interesting things. They actually wanted to get a metal detector and see if they could find any pieces of history that got tossed ashore. But they ended up not needing any fancy equipment, as they stumbled across an old cannonball from the Civil War era. The hurricane had uncovered the ball, and it was just sitting there right on top of the sand. There's no way to tell what ship the cannonball had belonged to, if it was actually used in battle or if it was a ship that sank. Still, historians claim it's an important part of the local history. They also say that there are probably plenty more cannonballs on the bottom of the ocean, happily waiting for the next hurricane to bring them to shore. Number 4. Poor Beagle Shark At Cape Cod Beach, a rare and beautiful shark was recently found stranded. It's called a poor beagle shark, and it's an extremely aggressive ocean predator that doesn't get a lot of press. The poor beagle is also known as the salmon shark, an incredibly active animal with a muscular body and an insatiable hunger for fish mostly things like mackerel, cod, and herring. These predators, unlike a lot of ocean creatures, don't have any natural enemies. Because they're so enormous and physically fit, there is nothing in the ocean known to hunt them. They're basically untouchable. So how did one of these ferocious predators end up on the beach dead as a doornail? The experts aren't really sure. Scientists with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration retrieved the shark to conduct a necropsy but they never found out just how it got onto the beach. The curious beach-going locals who stumbled across the thing are just lucky it was dead when they found it, as even on land, it probably could have bitten one of their legs off. Yikes! Number 3. World War II Fighter On a beach in England, a couple of dog walkers discovered the remains of a fighter plane that had been lost for 76 years. The plane goes back to the days of World War II, a Royal Air Force fighter that went down in 1944. It was in extremely rough shape when it was found by Debbie Hartley and her partner Graham Holden, but it was still intact enough for the Air Force in Britain to trace it back to its original squadron. This plane flew with the 254th Squadron, participating in night missions aimed at torpedoing enemy ships in the North Sea. It was part of the coastal defense of Britain to keep the Germans away from the island. Unfortunately for this plane, known as a Bristol Bowfighter, its engines blew just after it took off from base. It had to make an emergency landing on Cleethorpes Beach, where it was then abandoned and forgotten about for over seven decades. There's not much left of it now. After all those years buried under the sand, almost all of the metal has been eaten away. Only the plane's bones are left, jutting out of the sand like the skeleton of some prehistoric monster. Number 2. A Giant Sperm Whale It's not that unique to find a whale washed up on a beach. It actually happens all the time. But to be the one that comes across one of the biggest whale carcasses of all time, well, that's a different feeling. A giant sperm whale was recently found stranded and dead on Swartvlei Beach in Cape Town, South Africa. The whale was an absolute behemoth, estimated to weigh about 30 tons. Nobody knows how it died, though biologists did find a significant amount of fishing rope in its stomach when they did the autopsy. They also found a large collection of squid beaks, suggesting that the whale had been eating a healthy diet of squid before it wound up dead. Marine biologists are also unsure why the whale washed up on this particular beach, as they are almost never found in waters off the coast of South Africa. 
Sperm whales typically dive around 3,000 feet deep as they hunt for food, eating roughly one ton of fish and squid each day. They also travel in pods of up to 20 individuals. Maybe this poor whale got lost, turned around, and in its disoriented state, stranded itself on the beach and passed away. What would you do if you found a 30-ton sperm whale on the beach? Let us know in the comments below. Number 1. Ancient Peruvian Death Mask On a beach in Florida, archaeologists have discovered a very rare Peruvian death mask that dates back thousands of years. According to the professionals, the fragment of the mask is a good sign that there could be more treasures hiding nearby, either underwater or under the sand. This time, the treasure wasn't discovered by a couple of random beachgoers. It was a team of researchers with the Seafarer Exploration Corporation who identified the artifact and extracted it from the sand. They believe it's a piece of a funeral headpiece once used by the ancient Inca in Peru. Dr. Michael Torres, the man who actually found the mask, says it goes back to the first days when the Inca started learning how to work metal into various shapes. The mask is made partly from iridium, though nobody knows just exactly how old it is. If you're wondering why a funeral mask from Peru ended up on the beach in Florida, it probably came from a Spanish shipwreck. In the 1700s, it was popular for Spanish tomb raiders to steal things from South America, things like jewels, artifacts, and anything else they could get their hands on, then sail back to Spain. Many of those ships carrying artifacts sank off the coast of Florida. Those artifacts are now at the bottom of the ocean, though every now and again, a piece will drift ashore. Which one of these do you think would be the craziest to find? What's the craziest thing you've ever found washed up on the beach? Let us know in the comments, and thanks a lot for watching. If you haven't already, remember to hit that subscribe button for all the best videos from the channel. See you next time. Bye!